Back in CES, my first impressions of the Honor 6X was a rather good one. Despite having a 5.5 inch display, it had a really slim form factor. The dual cameras do sound promising in the presentation. And most importantly, Honor claims that the Honor 6X battery could last up to two days. While all these things do sound impressive, the real thing comes down to how well the product performs in the real world. So I've been using the Honor 6X for two weeks right now, and this is my full review. One thing that you will notice when picking up the Honor 6X is that you don't find it to be too cumbersome and the metallic back fortunately doesn't attract fingerprints. Apart from the phone's build quality, it would seem that the Honor 6X has taken some design cues from the Huawei Mate 9 with its dual cameras, despite missing the Leica branding. A rear fingerprint scanner is located nicely down below as usual, but it isn't a shortcut button like you would find on the flagship Honor 8. Powering this device is Huawei's very own efficient Kirin 655 octa-core processor, equipped with either 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, or 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Our review unit comes with the former storage configuration. Other common features include a 5.5-inch Full HD display, a 12 plus 2 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel selfie shooter, a 3340mAh battery, and support for dual SIM cards. While the Honor 6X may look impressive on paper, there are a few hardware shortcomings. First, even though Honor claims that the phone has quick charging, but having a 5V 2A charging rate doesn't quite cut it. And with most smartphones embracing USB-C ports, the Honor 6X still uses a micro-USB port. While it could only be me trying to find fault with it, but I just hope that this phone could have some modern features. Overall, I find the Honor 6X to be a solid performer during my review period. Honor has preloaded the phone with EMUI 4.1 based on Android Marshmallow, and the company has also announced plans for an Android Nougat update coming soon over the air. Given that this is a mid-range device, I would say that the phone's performance meet my expectations. I still find occasional lags across the user experience from time to time, which is probably due to the 3GB of RAM I have on my device. Furthermore, gaming performance is also rather acceptable on the Honor 6X. There's still noticeable frame drops when it comes to processing more complicated particles, but it will do fine for the average user. It gets fairly warm when under full load as well. The Honor 6X may have a dual camera setup, but they don't work the way like the flagship Honor 8. Instead of having each of those eyes capturing colors and monochrome respectively, it works pretty much the same way like the Honor 6 Plus. The main camera does the job of capturing stills, while the secondary camera measures depth of field, which allows you to perform edits such as refocusing on a subject or doing a wide aperture shot. But that's not all. The Honor 6 X's main camera features a 1.25 micron pixel size, which the company has claimed better low light performance over its competition. In truth, the Honor 6 X's camera performs decent. Most photos tend to have accurate color saturation and reasonable sharpness. I was also quite impressed with how it manages indoor photography. However, without the help of stabilization hardware, this means you will need to have really steady hands to capture really good looking shots in low light. By all means, the Honor 6X has a rather capable camera. The 8 megapixel selfie shooter works brilliant as well, and it helps brighten your selfies with a screen flash in low light. The Honor 6X demonstrates one of the best standby times I've seen on mid range smartphones. The 2 day battery life claim is rather accurate based on my test, with 3.5 hours of on screen time. The Kirin 655 processor is truly an efficient silicon and remains cool throughout my usage. Although my review unit is the US variant, it works fine on Malaysian networks and experience reliable LTE performance. To round it off, the Honor 6X is a great mid-range smartphone with a few acceptable compromises. It certainly brings some overdue updates to the older Honor 6 Plus, and Honor has managed to keep its retail price very close to its predecessor. The base model that I'm currently reviewing will cost 250 US dollars, and it goes all the way up to 300 US dollars if you want higher RAM and storage. Despite of what it offers, the Honor 6X still faces tough competition for its price tag, which unless the company pushes out its Android Nougat software update fast enough, otherwise there are lots of choices for what you can buy with that amount of cash. Yeah.